In this video, Amanda has her own little wet t-shirt contest as we get off the dock in Chubb Key and sail to Nassau. There I do some boat repairs and give you a tour of the Atlantis. All right, we are getting off the dock. You didn't really film getting off the dock. Uh, we're trying to get busy talking to some viewers uh, parked right next to us. Kind of cool talking to them. But a uh, little windy out here today, uh, 15 knots or so. Uh, maybe a little gust other than that, but we're going straight downwind and it's only about 35 miles, so it should be less than two hours. So hopefully not too bad here. I locked myself out. So I've never been to Chuck Key before. It's a cool spot. Definitely gonna put this on my list coming down here. And it's not that expensive. Honestly, marina-wise, $3 a foot maybe, which is not bad at all. The food and drink and all that was pretty inexpensive. Like a burger wasn't 25 bucks. A burger and fries was $16 at their restaurant, you know? So, I mean, that's not cheap, but that's not expensive. And it was a good burger, right? It was nice, you know, it was a nice burger, not which you normally get that from. How'd you think, Amanda? Oh, Chuck Key? Yeah. So fun. Best fireworks show I've probably ever seen just because it was so close. I thought it was cool. We headed out through the channel at Chub Key. So the forecast is calling for two to three foot seas, but we're downwind, down wave, the whole way, pretty much straight downwind, so it should be all right. Saw a lot of boats going out today, a lot of fishing boats going out to go fish, and then our other friends on their trimaran are going out to, they're going to a different spot though, they're going to go meet us uh, in high board at the end of the week. So, you ready? I am. Is everything put away downstairs for the most part? Um, yeah, I know. Look down there more. Okay. <laughs> I should, I should learn how to do some sort of trick, so the next time you try to trick oh. me, I'm like over here in like a weird headstand or something. Into the city, you and I can both get jobs and finally see what it means to be living. It's hot. Like the sun is just beating down. We're in this like hot box. There's no wind. Well, the problem is we're going 20 miles an hour, 20 knots, and the wind's 20 knots yeah. behind us, so uh, not much wind through here. I really want to pour this water on it. Okay, good. <laughs> Everything I wanted and more. Yeah, that was it. Okay. How'd that work out for you? It worked out so well. You should try it. I will. I'll get on it. It is. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. It was a comfortable and fast two hours down to Nassau. Someone. Hey, we made it to Nassau. Bobby's just tying the last uh, line here, the spring line, and whenever you're docking without crashing, that's always good. It's a little rolly in here. Uh, Hopefully, this, I mean, most of this right now is just the wakes going around, so like, hopefully at night it'll calm down. We can sleep, but like, it's kind of rolling right now. I just feel like I look better with uh, the bra. I think you look better without a bra. Okay, well, thank you. I mean, no, I like, it's not that I look bad. Definitely don't look bad. I just like, whatever, whatever. Well, welcome to uh, Nassau. We are gonna go get a little appetizer before we go out to dinner. So tomorrow I've got a lot of boat projects to do. I got a lot of work to do on the boat. I got to edit some video and stuff too. So tomorrow's gonna be kind of a work day. Uh, but maybe tomorrow night we'll take you out to uh, you know Atlantis or someplace like that to uh, go see the sights of Nassau. The only downside is is these docks are really tall, and when it's low tide, it makes it a little bit difficult getting in and out of here. It wasn't as far as I thought it was. Nassau has been a little sketchy lately, so we chose a safer marina rather than one with a good location. Well, this is Bay Street Marina. On the other side of the bridge, it's over here. There's about three or four more marinas, but I don't know. I think this place is a little safer. Um, has better security and stuff. Me too. But Nassau is one of those places that like, you only really come here to provision and to like, you know, get some whatever you need to keep going. Like us or most people? Most people. I mean, like they don't, I mean, coming here would be, I don't know, it's, it's expensive and there's not much to do, right? I mean, why would you 
stay here in a crappy anchorage where there's just speed boats going all day or a or a marina marina specific oh i'm talking about just nassau oh, in general then why we were talking to some people yesterday who came here for new year's eve yeah well they were on a power boat you know doing that kind of stuff cruising around so that's a different story for cruisers that are heading down to the islands they don't spend a whole lot of time here there is a decent bar and restaurant called the green parrot right off the dock at bay street I don't think it's that bad, but I am gonna have to cannonball. I'm gonna jump. Do it. All right. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna jump. All right. There we go. Not that bad. No. Your turn. It's yeah, it's oh. not terrible, but it is pretty fun. Yep. All right. Well, now we chill out. Do some, uh, I'm going to go edit and then we go to dinner. Yay! It is work on the boat day today. Um, so there's a part on the generator I need to replace. There's like a exhaust valve, uh, exhaust elbow. I needed to replace that. Um, so I've got that part. While I was down there, I was looking at it. The uh, low water bilge pump is not working. The high water bilge pump is working, but the low water bilge pump is not working. So there's a little bit of water in the bilge. So I've got to troubleshoot that and figure out, is it just the, is it the pump? Is it the, uh, the switch? You know, one of the two replace that. But the problem is it's not easy to get to. It's way back in that corner, way back in there. And the generator is on this side over here. It'd be a little bit easier to get to, but I got to get to the far side of it. Boat work day. Never ends. Uh, so here's the part right here. Um, it's the exhaust uh, manifold. So it separates the uh, liquid exhaust from the uh, gas exhaust. And here is the gasket. It goes around the back side of the uh, generator. It's kind of hard to get at, so I can't really take you guys down there with me. But once I get, uh, well, once I get this thing on, I'll show you. Well, unfortunately, so I was able to tap on the uh, sensor, the, the float switch for the, Build pump and I tapped it and it came on, but now it's not coming off. It's empty and it's not going off. So it's just going to burn that pump out. So I'm going to have to go. I mean, I'm, I guess I need to replace that pump, that switch anyway, because if it was bad, it was going to go bad more, but it's going to burn the pump out if I keep doing it. So I got to go down and cut some wires to make it stop. All right, got the generator running, no leak, so good to go there. Uh, next, I guess it's. Uh, in the marine store got it working running fine uh now i need to go get parts i mean i went to the coffee shop so i think i'll meet her there and then see if she wants to walk with me down to the coffee shop that bad thing about this place look how rolly this is and that's all boat wake that's not like the sea conditions are fine it's, it's fine it's just it's not a no wake zone around here like it really should be a no wake zone you would think but whatever they don't do it and uh so yeah it's really rolly in here and make things a little sketchy when you're down below working and all of a sudden it's big rolly so all right, anyway, I'm gonna go find Amanda and we'll head to the shore store. Look who I found. Good morning. Yeah. So we're gonna take a little walk to the marine store, get some stuff there and then grab lunch. And we got a lot of work to do on the boat. Yes. We got some other stuff to do. We got some filming and to do and we got, you know, editing and all this crap. Boat stuff. Boat stuff. <laughs> Gotta do boat stuff yeah. and clean up a little bit. Yep. So Bobby wants us to go eat lunch under a bridge. Well, yeah, there's like a bunch of restaurants under the bridge. Like hobos. Not a hobo. No offense, but. like a... So all these places, you know, they're just kind of built out right on the edge of the water. I'm not sure why, but there's some on the other side too. So they have a boil skin salad on the menu. I don't know if any of you know what that is, but I'm definitely picturing like skin boils, ceviche or something. I mean, I'm not, I'm not. Some hot fritters and some uh, fried chicken. Okay, now I'll actually look at the menu. There were lots of eagle rays swimming right off the patio. Wow. 
Well, we can't be in a hurry here, though. I mean, we've been here at least 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes. You got your food. I did. Very lucky. I asked, I offered you some. Yeah, so. that's right. We, I mean, we got almost the same thing. Chicken tenders, chicken yeah. wings. Anyway, it's the island way. It's like, eh, it'll be the same thing tomorrow as it is today. Why Why be in a hurry? It'll yeah. get done. I'm tomorrow. totally cool with that. Yeah. I, um, now that I have my food. Yeah, now that you have your food. No. <laughs> yeah. um, right, we've been here over an hour now. You're almost finished eating. And you know things are slow. If I'm almost done, he hasn't gotten his food yet because I eat really slow. So, yeah. I take my time. <laughs> I love life, you know? Alright, finally came. Hey, you're on your last wing and I'm just not even started yet. So. Hey, that's. It's normally the other way around. Yeah. Like every Perfect. meal, so I can sit here and wait on that. It'll be like three seconds. Mm -hmm. Inhale it. Alright, after this, we're going to the Marine store. It may have taken a while for food, but it was pretty cool seeing the Spotted Eagle Rays. So Bobby just called me outside because he needs zip ties, and I looked at him. And look at his look at his leg. Okay, hang on. I'm turning the camera around. I mean, it's yeah. You know. Hang on, hang on. They can't see. Okay, let me. I mean, I don't even know. I just looked down and was bleeding. I don't even know. I don't remember doing it. He so. didn't. He didn't mention it. Okay, wait. I gotta turn this around again. It's not that bad. It's he didn't mention it, nothing. He's just like asking for, casually asking for zip ties. I looked at his leg, I'm like, oh my God, you're bleeding out. Like I need to go get you a first nah. aid kit. Like, I'm all right. He's like, oh yeah, that, that. Oh no, it's nothing. I'll take care of it. No, I'm going to go get you a. No, no, no. I'll just. You can't see my eyes. I'm like rolling them. Ow. I'll, I'll clean it up when I'm done. I'm almost, I got to like. Put the exhaust back together. So I got the new um, uh, float switch in there. Uh, so then I just need to uh, change out the, uh, or install this back. And then while I'm at it, I'm gonna take this down because the the uh, the table's pretty loose. So I got some new fittings to fix that. So anyway, it's almost there. Okay, well, you're gonna, you're gonna clean up the blood before. <laughs> I'll take a shower Before you're done. Not, is it all dry? Like it's just. I don't know. There's. It's, eh, it's coming around. It'll be all right. You you have no desire to get that blood off of you right. now. Nah, I mean, what's? I like if put, I put a bandaid on so you don't get the dirt in it and stuff. I'll just clean it up when I'm done. I'm not a doctor, but I feel like you're supposed to like avoid getting gross shit in your wounds. Yeah, I'll take a shower when I'm done. Are y'all coming with us? I thought we were gonna leave them here. Oh man, y'all are. We'll bring in for it. A we'll treat. bring it with us. Uh, let me put my bag downstairs. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna head across over to Paradise Island, and that's where I will find dinner over there, and then maybe go to the casino. Yeah. Oh man, you guys are not ready though. You were just talking about how good you are at blackjack and all the craps games and all that. <laughs> I mean. I, just because I know how to play doesn't mean I'm good. Uh, okay. But. Alright, well, we're getting moving. No, I turn wrong. Left your heart torn. It was a nice night for a walk, and it was about 20 minutes over the bridge to Paradise Island. Took you so long, where only fools go. I shook the angel and young. Now I'm rising from the crowd. Rising up to you. Decided to walk over to Paradise Island because it is kind of cool. You get over in the middle of the bridge. It's a nice little view. Uh, yeah, I can already tell this is really it's pretty sweet. Yeah. If we were scootering, we'd just cruise right by it. It was a nice view as we headed over the bridge into our first stop for the night, Margaritaville. Oh, man, 
Hannah just decided that she's gonna make it her mission to go to every Margaritaville. I think there's like 15 of them. That was kind of your idea, but I'm on board. I'll, I'll take that as my own. And a lot of people like yeah. Jimmy Buffett, right? That's and true. like, it could be a nice tribute. Yeah. I did pass away this last year, it's pretty sad. Anyway, leave us a comment. Should she go make a pilgrimage to every margarita though? <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah. I mean, they're in some pretty cool places. Do it. I'm down. Do it. All right. Here's a margarita in Margaritaville and a uh, cheeseburger in paradise. Cheers. This is so good. I just like want to chug it. <laughs> Do it. We'll see what happens. It tastes like mango juice. It's a mango margarita. It, it is. So we haven't seen our server in like 20 minutes, maybe? At, at least, yeah. And now there is an ambulance behind us. He had just asked. I literally just asked. He was like, did our surfer die or something? And then, and the, ambulance. then the ambulance pulled up. <laughs> and uh, Gurney just went by uh, with the EMTs going over. So we'll find out who it is on the way back. Maybe. Yeah. It's our server. It's our freaking server. Yeah, literally, it's our server. I don't want to seem insensitive, I'm, but my mind is blown. I like hope she's okay. Well, she looked okay. I think it was. She I think did. she had a leg problem. Like I don't. She wasn't like have a heart attack or anything. She like fell and hurt herself. Well, anyway, that solves that. So, uh, okay. Our server just left on a on journey. Ambulance. Yeah. After. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's not funny. funny. I. <laughs> she did seem okay. Yeah, she seemed okay. Um, right, well. I wonder if someone's gonna come check on us. Yeah. I mean, is it free now? I guess I haven't got a new drink or anything. anyway. Whatever. We'll finish our food and head to the casino. Now we are on our way to the Atlantis to go donate some money to <laughs> you know, the casino. I'm sure they need it. Oh yeah. I have a pretty good track record not losing too much money at casinos. Okay, well, we'll see. Yeah. I'll remember that. Yeah. Our night is off to an interesting <coughs> start so far. Very exciting. It's only like 8.30 and yeah. there's been all sorts of excitement, so. You want to talk about an expensive marina though. This is, I think, I, I swear I think it's like $10 a foot. So like our little tiny boat, 34 feet, would be $340 a night. And then these guys are all 60, 70 feet. So they're paying 600, 700, maybe $1,000 a night in the bigger ones. And then, that's not, then they charge you a million dollars for power too. So I think we can go that way to get in the casino. We headed into the casino where you're not actually allowed to film. Bobby just won a thousand bucks. No, I didn't. <laughs> I played three three hands of uh, craps or three crap rolls, whatever, and lost all three a quick couple hundred bucks. So I'm like, all right, that's fine. I don't need to lose anymore. That's the down. That's the only thing I don't like about craps. I like playing craps, but if you know, you, you generally bet more per roll and craps than you would be a blackjack so if you lose three hands in a roll i mean then there goes a couple hundred bucks and i'm like all right well thanks for playing yeah i don't want to sit there and donate another couple hundred so might as well just walk away good i like that yeah all right uh now i think we're just gonna walk back to the boat uh we could get a taxi but it's a nice night let's just walk yeah it feels really good there's more steps in i've got almost twenty thousand over twenty thousand steps today man i hope i've gotten at least like yeah. Maybe. What do you think? I've got like five to eight. Well, you got at least. I mean, I it was seven thousand, seven or eight thousand of it, my steps were me running, and we basically walked the rest of the time together. So you burned way more than ten thousand, probably. Y'all, I am so active and fit. Look at yeah, me. Yeah, totally. <laughs> All right, uh, back to the boat. Have a glass of wine or a beer, and uh, I believe a cigar. Thank you so much for watching. A free way to help out the channel is to make sure you're subscribed and leave us a comment down below. And if you're really enjoying this premium licensed music, please consider helping us out by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash sailing